Okay, I'm back on location at Dominic's house with his dad and this uh, 1957 Sea Lancer, Thompson Sea Lancer with the 1962 uh, Johnson 75 horsepower. We're gonna do a Lincoln Sync uh, with the uh, distributor uh, back to the carburetor. So this whole assembly, we're gonna show you how to do that. And if you've got an engine like this, this is gonna be a valuable uh, tutorial for you. So keep watching and uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, we're gonna pull off the, we've already took, taken the four bolts off for the uh, flywheel. Um, I think they, I'm not sure what they call this, it's just a cover that, uh, so you can suspend it on a hook, but uh, that comes off. And so we've already lined up our timing marks. We've got one timing mark here on the flywheel. You have to turn this until it comes close to this timing mark on the top. Maybe I can get you in here a little bit better. <clears throat> so you can see the timing mark here, and you can see that there's a timing mark here. So these have to align, and then when you're looking at the uh, pulley on the distributor, there's a timing mark down here that's notched on the pulley, uh, and there's a red line going up the pulley, and that's got to line up with the, with the line the timing mark on the uh, bracket itself. It's not very visible, but there is a line right in here. So hopefully I can get you in there to see that. Um, yeah, there it is there, right here, right in here. So that, those lines have got to all line up to make this thing the, the proper timing uh, for the distributor. Then we're gonna get into the linkage for the uh, carburetor just to make sure that that's all uh, adjusted properly. So I stay tuned. It. Okay. okay. All right. Here, you know what? You can read this to me. Step one, it says place the engine in forward gear. We've done that. Yep. It carries on from there and this is the last step. So we'll go. We'll, we'll take it step by step in the manual and we'll go from there. So it says forward gear, the lower units in forward gear. We have to push this manually till the distributor hits the stop, and that's what we did. Okay, what's next? Move the distributor to full advanced position by hand. I did that. I'm holding that. The inside surface of the control shaft arm should now be parallel with the edge of the diamond-shaped projection on the control shaft bracket when viewed from above. Okay, that's this diamond right here. So this is supposed to be parallel to this to this boss right here. Yeah, okay. And it does look like it is, actually. It's not touching it, but it does actually look like it's... And I'll get the camera in there to see it, but... So if you look, when I forward advance this, all the way to the stop on the distributor, you can see the stop rubber stop right there. Right there it hits. And while I'm holding that, you can see that this, that this armature here is supposed to come parallel to this diamond right here, this little, this little section right here. So when I put that into force that into full throttle, it does actually, it is parallel to that boss. 
you can see that the, it's, it's right here. It's parallel to this right here. So that's in good shape. And if it's not in good shape, you gotta loosen the two linkage screws. Yes, if it's not in good shape, then you have to loosen these two linkage screws. And adjust. And adjust that to where it's parallel to that in that diamond. So it looks like it's right. So we'll go from there. Next steps is uh, check the position of the throttle arm with respect to the cam follower. Okay, that would be that would be this. Now this is missing this this roller cam here. Uh, time to install it. What do you think? Yeah, this is time to install that. So that's in here. That's the cam follower. See, <laughs> what is this? Five dollar piece of plastic. Who is that? Is it's a cam follower. Yeah, this it's this oh, is, is this goes over this little armature right here, um, like that, and that's what forces this arm for full throttle. Uh, o ring that goes over the end of that. Oh. <laughs> another part. Yeah. yeah, another part. Actually, you got two of them. We only needed one. Uh, you might need two, though. Look, it's got a little bit of slack. Maybe one inside. One no, else. I looked at that. It's why the other one is for this for this oh, roller here. Oh, okay. That's why it says two. There's one for this roller and there's one for this one. But it's good you got two because in case I lose it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something else in there. To sure what if we that What if we took that Maybe off? Go. You got it. Good man. Right. Hey, he says he heated it up. He had a procedure. <laughs> no, no, I, I put it with my finger yeah. all the way, and then I use from another side to see, pick and grab this. And okay. Do, and then da -da -da. It just went on. Okay, well, that's good. All right, now, where were we? I was talking my finger. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to read those procedures now. We had step one, step two, step three is we put the roller cam on. Remove the carburetor synchronizing rod to gain access to adjusting screw C. C, which is, C is the, this one here, right? Is that C? Yes. Yep, yep, that's C. That's okay, C. so that's this screw here. So we got to remove this to get to this screw right here. Yep. That's controlling this. All right. Yep. Perfect. There are two set screws securing the rod, one over the other. Removal of the outer locking screw allows access to the inner rod locking screw. Actually, there is two, but there's only one in there right now because the other one's in the bag. Oh, okay. Because I didn't put it in. <laughs> See oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in there. Yeah. Oh, is that I didn't lose that. It's a weird little screw. It is. It's a little uh, torque screw or Allen head screw. See, so this, this just comes off like that. Get that out of the way. Yeah. And then what? We Using screw C with throttle cam screw A rotated out of the way. Arm D should be in the closed throttle position. Okay. With throttle cam A rotated out of the way, arm D should be in the closed throttle position. Okay, so that that is, I believe, in the closed position. Yeah. Should yeah, be. That's right. Yeah. So now what? Okay. We have to we have to turn this screw to make sure that no nope. hold arm B in close throttle position and rotate cam A so that the synchronizing mark falls in line with the center of the cam follower roller figure five. Okay, so when I do this, okay, see how it's pushing the throttle open? Yep. Okay, so I've got to I've got to loosen this. Okay. So that I position this in the center of that, right? Yep. Like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, please. Center of the cam. Yep, that's it. Yep. Right there. Make yep. sure right the roller there. is contacting the cam and mm -hmm. retighten screw C. That's uh, it's gotta touch it, right? Yep, center. Center and touching. Okay, so that would be center. Yep. Center touching? Yep. Oh, I'm yep, on, in the center of that. Oh, right. It's got to bisect that I roller. No, <laughs> I'm serious. I'm heart attack. <laughs> so this is going to go back in here. This is where you put the feeler gauge in. This, okay. 
this is what they said. When you adjust this portion, right, to where this closes and this cam hits this, this right yeah. here, then, then you put this back in and you don't tighten it. You don't tighten it. I remember, I remember reading this now. Then you go full advance, and this is where your feeler gauge comes in, and you put your feeler gauge right in there. Oh, is that, that's like full advance on a distributor, basically? Yeah. Right there? So you take your 20 thousandths. Yeah. I believe it was 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. Yeah. 20 thousandths feeler gauge. Oh, you put it here? Yeah. And that's not now it tightens. Now, yes. Now you're supposed to. Well, you're supposed to th throttle that all the way forward. Oh, and then and I, then tighten. Want me to hold that throttle? I, I knew I was forgetting something. You want me to hold that throttle down? Or Hang no? on a second. Let me let me just play with it. And see what I can do. Okay. Now do, yeah. this should be full, but this should be full throttle all the way down where it hits this stop. See this stop right here? Yeah. See that stop? Yeah. Okay. So you keep pushing this forward until that hits the stop. Okay, I can't hold everything. Okay, like that. Now you tighten it down. It's coming back to me. <laughs> memory bank. <laughs> well, I read it and I read it and I read it, and it, it's just kept coming back to me now. Hey, I'm older. I'm over fifty. I, you know, you gotta. You know, once you hit fifty, man, forget it. It's all. Okay. Now, now we bring this back. Now look where your now look where your your neutral. It's it's perfect. That's exactly where it needs to be. And that cam is pushing oh. it to the stop. Full throttle. Boom. <laughs> now you're gonna ride like hell. <laughs> it's gonna it's go. So don't put good. It. It's gonna go. Put good. Yeah. <laughs> we need a rotor. Now. I think Without the rotor, we can't go anywhere. I hope that works. This is why it was so messed up because it was missing this roller you can't synchronize it because right? oh, it was missing this little yeah. roller and this stuff this can't go full time so you can't adjust any of this until you have everything so when this when this goes full throttle advance that hits the stop now it's full throttle now it'll go wide open keep doing <laughs> okay <laughs> all right I mean, I think I think it's. Let it's, me put future no sense when you don't have manual stuff. You can do it like adjustment. Yeah, yeah mechanically. First can, thing, somebody brings me a boat. Tell me, get a man. Yeah. I'll do the work. You, I'll do the labor. Yeah. But, 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 but I'll do the waste, research and read. Waste time. Huh? It's a lot of wasted time. But yeah, when you have from first experience, right? Yeah. Well, now that manual. I know this engine, I'll be able to do this yeah. without having to go to the man. I'm not, I'm not an expert, I just thought, whoa, you, whoo, baby, you close the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to throw this back in the truck. I'm going to go down the street. <laughs> let's, put the, let's put the ring back on. The timing is adjusted. I think the timing is adjusted. And, yes, yeah, so we got a couple of bolts to put on and we're done. Oh, that's something. Between me for a ride in the van. This will have to be backed out. Because it's way too long. That's how a lot of adjustment it was. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. I'm bringing it this way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's way it's <laughs> You're playing with that on the legs. Yeah. Wait, so that little roller made that big of a difference pretty much? Well, it's so it's it wasn't right. Yeah, everything was off. It made that much okay. of off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it supposed to be going though. It didn't sound right on That's the leg, you know. This supposed to be like this? Mm -hmm. No. And we well, actually you've got it on full throttle, right? Oh shit, we have to take it off. When he puts it in neutral, it's going to drag this thing to the back. So stay up there for a second. Yes, sir. I feel like you're flying on water. <laughs> I've done it before, man. It's sitting here. Oh, that's pretty nice. Here we go. You put it on neutral? No. You're on go ahead. Put it in neutral. See how far back from on. So, well, that's almost right. All right, hang on. Now throw it in, in for, full forward. Here. 
Full throttle. Full throttle. Full throttle. There it went. Hit the stop here. Go uh, like away. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty close. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Be careful. Hold on. It's supposed to be up. And the only thing they said about this adjustment is 20,000 is for this spring adjustment. Mm -hmm. It's just to give it a little bit of. Hey, next time you go on the lake, I brought a little toolbox in here in the front. No, okay, put it in neutral. But that okay, gave you in the <laughs> Now, now put it in reverse, full here reverse. Go, reverse. Here we go, full reverse. Okay. Yeah. See, you're only going to go so fast, and that's full reverse. Yes. That's slow. Okay. Down. So you're only going to go so fast. It won't go full throttle in reverse. <laughs> you don't want it to. That's for his safety. <laughs> the timing. Actually, the timing is almost fully advanced, but your throttle is not. Okay. And I don't know. That's probably okay. See how your your throttle is not fully advanced, but your timing is. So that's fine. It's almost fully advanced. So you, I mean, you got that much more to go, right? That's fine. You Try it again. Let's put it in neutral again. I want to see where it, I want to see where it hits on the camera. Neutral. That's good. That's really good. That's where you want it. Well, you might have some variation. Yeah, it, it you know, but I mean, um, that might be some, some, some slop. I am really curious though, to see if this sucker is going to run now. And, and it'll probably, you know, it still might need to go. take it to the lake. I would. <laughs> you want to go today? No. I would. Well, we need the roller. What you see in the uh, photo above is the... Uh, examples of two different rotors that could be used uh, for this particular motor but uh, there's the magneto a version and battery ignition model uh, v4a which is b and b is the correct one to use for this application unfortunately we found that the uh, a version was used inside this motor and uh, could have been causing our wide open throttle uh, miss so that's something we corrected uh, and, and we're getting the proper uh, rotor for this engine. So stay tuned for the next episode and you'll see this rotor installed and hopefully this engine will run perfectly. So thanks for watching. See you next time.